Yeah, I always thought this too. I don't know, Deborah and Manville, but I always thought uh, pretty women would have a really hard time because if you grow up and that is your identity and everybody says how beautiful you are and you're a pretty little girl and you're great and beautiful, 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 when that starts to fade, then who are you? Yes. Yeah. And this is why it's important, uh, even at an early age, when you still feel very comfortable with your external appearance, to already see if you can bring a deeper dimension into your life so that you don't live the rest of your life trapped in the surface dimension when you equate who you are with your external appearance, which is not going to last. Well, she says I'm having difficulty transitioning. Yes. From the beauty of my youth to living with a face and body that is aged. Yes. So the question then perhaps is, so what, what to do now? Yes. How do we let go of that kind of obsession? So first of all, again, the arising awareness is important that you had been, and to some extent perhaps still are, identified with appearance. Right. And then comes in a little thing that we could call acceptance. Acceptance, when you look in the mirror in the morning, you realize, yes, one can see wrinkles here and there. Uh -huh. The skin is not quite as vibrant as it used to be, and you can see it very clearly. And so some of these uh, people who had been identified, they regard that as a personal problem. They see it as if life had dealt them some blow that it's not personal, it's, it's the destiny of every human being to grow old and to, unless they die, die prematurely, it's the destiny of every human being to experience the gradual decline of the physical form. So I suggest, first of all, to practice a little bit of acceptance. So you have a con the condition, which means I'm getting old, or the body is getting old, and then you accept that this is what's happening. With that acceptance comes a little bit of space around the condition, a little bit of peace around the condition. Yeah. Uh, and then a very helpful thing... Uh, that is, instead of saying, I hate my I wrinkles. Hate, yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's, and you can, it's the same process, you look at a flower, you have a flower for a few days, and the same thing that's happening to your body happens to the flower after a few days, it wilts. Or put an apple there and see what the apple looks like three weeks later. Mm -hmm. It just happens more quickly, but it's the destiny of all form to eventually dissolve. So Deborah needs to come to some acceptance, acceptance of that. Acceptance and see that it's, a, it's the destiny of all of life forms mm -hmm. to go through that process. Mm -hmm. In addition, also, especially for people who have been identified with the external body, because it's been, it was beautiful for many mm -hmm. years, to take attention, even when they're still young, to what we've been doing here, take attention into the inner body, the inner aliveness of the body. Mm -hmm. Because that actually does not grow old. Because you can feel the aliveness when you're 80, it's the same way that you can feel the inner aliveness when you're 20.